Good evening and welcome to Nightly Prayer on this Wednesday evening for our 6 p.m. Nightly Prayer for the Nation. Thank you for joining me. Let's bring our needs before God. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Loving Father God, be with us in our distress, with our families, our friends, our neighbors, our country and our world. Give health to the sick, hope to the fearful, and comfort to the mourners. Give wisdom to our frontline and key workers, insight to our government, and patience to us all. Overcome disease with the power of your new life through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our focus of prayer on a Wednesday evening is for the well-being of our economy and local workplaces. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for Thornton and Cleveland in the beautiful area that it is to live. As we look out to the Irish Sea and the mountains of the Lake District, we're so blessed, Lord, to live in this place. And we thank you for local people running local businesses. We thank you for local business owners in Red Marsh, in Marsh Mill, and in the surrounding area. We thank you for those people who provide catering, who provide um, materials for construction, who provide services to fix machinery, such as cars, and for those who provide care in places of care, such as care homes and care providers. We thank you for local places of education. We thank you for people who work from home and people who at this time still have to go in to work because that's how their models of work um, are at the moment. And we particularly pray, Lord, for the workers who are having to go into offices and, and buildings and serve on the front line. We thank you for those people, Lord. We recognize they put themselves in danger, so we ask for your protection upon them. We pray, Lord, for local business owners, perhaps who can't be open right now, and who worry about the future, who aren't sure if they can keep their employees on. They aren't sure if their business will be able to thrive and continue. So, Lord, we ask that through the government's interventions and continued wisdom you'll give from the government, that they will be able to provide, Lord, their businesses going forward. They'll be able to keep running and keep going and, and keep open and keep employing local people. We thank you for some of the larger bit and providers of work in the area. Lord. Of course, we pray for the NHS. We think of BAE Systems and other um, large employers. We think of the civil service. And we thank you for the opportunities there are for employment in this area. And we do pray, Lord, you'll, that you'll protect those jobs. That, Lord, there will be jobs to, to go back to once furlough has ended. And for the people who have been made redundant in this last nine, ten months, Lord, please provide work for them afresh and provide open doors and opportunities. We pray, Lord, that there'll be a swell of new opportunities in this area, new work, of new businesses, of new um, contracts between different um, organizations and the government. That, Lord, means people can, can be given new jobs. We pray for school leavers um, as they finish school this summer, as they worry about where they're going to go to to find work. Lord, would you surprise us and would you bless our economy here in Fonts and Cleveland and in Lancashire and the whole of our nation? Would you please, Lord, um, provide a, um, light at the end of a tunnel in terms of the economic well-being? We pray, Lord, for those who are out of work right now, who are dependent on universal credit and other benefits, and pray, Lord, that they will get by, that they'll manage and survive and thrive, and pray for their families especially. We think, Lord, of the half term coming up and children and families and, and the news of today, maybe school's not reopening until later in March. Lord, just provide the emotional strength that parents and families need right now. Bring calm to homes where children are missing out on seeing their friends and teachers, Lord. Give them a, a wonderful strength that they perhaps didn't realize they could have. Give them, Lord, strength and protection and your blessing. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And tonight, let's pray too for our church, for our church here at Thornton in Christ Church and for other local churches. We thank you, Lord God, for our churches together in Thornton, the Christ Church Thornton, St. John's Little Thornton, Sacred Heart, Thornton Methodist, Light and Life, the Church of the Nazarene. We thank you, Lord, for our fellowship between our churches. We thank you for sustaining us in this pandemic. Thank you for online worship that's allowed worshippers to keep in touch with each other and to worship you and to hear your word. And we just seek, Lord, your help and your continued blessing, your financial provision. We pray, Lord, that you'll protect our, our church members from ill health. 
And we pray, Lord, that we will be beacons of light and hope and truth in this dark world right now. But we won't be afraid, Lord, to speak of the uniqueness and the hope that Jesus brings as God the Son. Help us, Lord, to be bold, to be courageous, and to be wonderfully helpful to our neighbors and those in need. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray as Jesus taught us to pray in the words of the Lord's Prayer in modern form. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And the final prayer for tonight is from the Book of Common Prayer, the prayer for the third Sunday after the Epiphany. And it reminds us that we have infirmities. Of course, in our nation right now, we have those who are recovering from floods, those recovering from COVID, and those on the front line fighting COVID, and those in hospitals now. So this prayer resonates with those needs. So as I read this prayer, just bring to mind those areas of concern. Almighty and everlasting God, mercifully look upon our infirmities, and in all our dangers and necessities, stretch forth, stretch forth thy right hand to help and defend us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me tonight. Good night and God bless and see you again tomorrow.